inside of me, the statement that I'm about to make. So, uh, this is the skinny. I, Bobby Creek Water, I'm officially off Shady. I'm no longer with Shady no more. Oh, shit. Hello, world. I go by the name of Bobby Creek Water. <laughs> like you already know that shit. I'm quite sure other media outlets would have loved for it to be bad blood or beef or some of that shit, but it was just a business decision, man. Um, you know, uh, the relationship we exhaust, like the relationship just ran its turn. You understand what I'm saying? And as far as Bible Creek was concerned, I got big plans for Bible Creek. You know what I'm saying? So that particular relationship wasn't, you know what I'm saying, wasn't helping as far as the plans I had for Bible Creek. So we just parted ways, and I didn't get dropped. <laughs> uh, it, it was one of them things. I, I, uh, I felt like it was time to move on, so I made a phone call to Paul one Sunday morning. We had a talk. I said, I think it's time for me to go my way. He said he understood, and uh, you know, just so you know, labels in some cases can choose to be assholes and you know hold the artists on the on, on, on the label. And, all kind of politics, put an artist through a whole bunch of bullshit to get free, but they didn't. He understood my plight, you know what I'm saying, and I appreciate him for that. Uh, him and them, they let me go my way and do my thing, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I got these plans, and he couldn't really give me what I needed at the time because they had a whole lot of other things that they had to handle. It was just one of those things, man. So I'm, I'm officially off of Shady. And, uh, you know, everything is good. We moving forward, man. Like I said, BGOV is is, is my main focus. By, you know, behind by the creek wall and uh, just moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Like in that decision, like what do you think was like the I guess like the straw that broke the camels back? I know last time we talked, it was like fresh off the heels of um when you did the Big Brother track, and everybody was like, oh man. Sounds like it's all good again, man. About to get this creek brought out, you know, finally. Um, it's politics, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, because I, uh, I felt a certain way as far as the Big Brother track was concerned, and I, I just had to let people know how I felt. But that had nothing to do with what was going on as far as they were concerned. Um, they, they just had a lot of. Uh, Basically, it was this. Him or Shady had to pay some bills because they had uh, released some projects that didn't do as well as they planned or what happened. So, him had to go make that right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, in him making that right, the creek world would have had to do more waiting. And it's just one of the things where, as an artist, you are your first concern. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am my first concern, so I, I, I couldn't afford to do it. Like if anything, like what are some of the things you learned like from that experience? Because like you was over there listen, for a minute, anticipation was always there, and you didn't see it. I, I learned one of the most important things I learned is how to make make it make sense for me to do a major label deal. Like I think any art, and this is the thing, a lot of artists might not know. You know what I'm saying? They, they get excited about these deals and they want to run and jump into these deals or what have you. It has to make sense for you to do a major label deal. There has to be like um, a couple of things working in your favor before you even jump into that system. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Like first and foremost, you have to be self-contained. You have to be one of those people that take the initiative to do things yourself. yourself. You have to have a team. You know what I'm saying? Of people who are capable of the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, or most times, y'all are going to be the one to get shit done. Label might not know how. You know what I'm saying? And y'all might have to be the one to get it done. And if y'all don't know how to get it done, if they don't know how to get it done, then, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be some problems. You know what I mean? Tax right on time. So, yeah, man, it, it, it just has to make sense. You feel me? Like, if you got a, a buzz or something going on out here in the world, 
When you do a situation, when you go into a situation, you're going into it on your terms. Otherwise, you go into them asking them for something. And that's on their terms. And that's what you get. You know what I mean? One of those type of things versus one of these type of things. Like, I know you briefly touched on it on, you know, the Big Brother trip, but, like, why did it seem like the Creek Water project was never quite the, you know, like, priority over there? Because, I mean, you know, it seemed like we were getting stuff from folks that we had never heard of before, and it was getting, you know, all the pub and being in the stores and everything like that. Well, I mean, you know, basically it was, uh, my relationship with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, not saying we uh, had any problems with each other. We just never got to know, know, got to know each other like we, you know what I'm saying, could have or should have. And, uh, you know, he's the reason for the season. So if you ain't on his radar, then you ain't on Jimmy's radar, then you ain't on the radar. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was one of them things, man. I could see, like, when I came into it, my, my relationship was, you know, my bond was strengthened a little bit more with Rosenberg than him. One of them things where me and him not, we didn't really get to, you know what I'm saying? Sit down and really get inside each other's head because it was always 400 middlemen every time we uh, came in contact with each other or what have you. So, so it's one of those things, man. And uh, whereas other projects might have been a little bit more on his radar because he might have took an interest in something. You feel me? So, so moving forward in 09 and beyond, like, like are you even interested in? dealing with that kind of, you know, system anymore because it seems like everything is going, everything seems to be shifting more to the benefit of an independent artist. You know what I'm saying? Granted, like, if they, you know, are really about the business and aware of what they're doing and whatnot, so I wonder, like, are you even interested in, you know, being a part of a major labor system? Right now, I'm not really thinking about being a part of a major labor system. All I'm thinking about right now is uh, making great music and connecting with my fans. As many fans as I can connect with, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, when it makes sense to connect with a major label again, then that's, you know, I cross that bridge when I get there. You feel me? Like, it makes sense for some people and for others it don't. Like, for example, for Drake, it makes sense. And you know why it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he the hottest thing moving right now. So, and they got to, you know, any anybody that enters into any type of deal with him, it's on his terms. Because he was able to make it that way. You feel me? So that's much that's 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 much uh, more my focus. Making everything that comes to Bible Creek Water come on my terms. Yeah, yeah. Now tell us about tomorrow night, man. Like what we gonna be seeing tomorrow night, man? Man, y'all gonna see a show. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna come out, we're gonna have some fun. A lot of artists be forgetting to have fun on stage, man. That shit uh, baffles me. You understand what I'm saying? You doing what you love to do, supposedly. You get on stage and mug and you know, you got, man, fuck all that, man. Let's have fun. So when you and y'all come see me tomorrow, y'all gonna see somebody doing what they love to do, absolutely love to do. Like I do this shit, I sit in the studio all this time, you know, and I, you know, make this music, and then to get the chance to share it with the people, that's what it's all about, man. To see their reactions or, or to see how they feel about the music, man. Like that shit, I get excited, man. Damn, you got to think about that shit. Man. Thanks. <laughs> Man, I got a show um, with a couple of other, you know, dope artists. We are gonna get it in. BGOV, Bob Crew Day it all makes sense. Day it all made sense. Was the day it all made sense? <laughs>